first bought this place, one of the attractions was all the gum trees that were growing all around the property. Just before we built the house, we had a bit of a storm and it blew about seven or eight of these trees down. But that was just a prelude. In 2008, we had quite a violent storm come through and at the time we had 55 gum trees and after the storm finished, we had five left standing. And it, to look at it, it was quite a daunting job ahead and it did turn out to be quite a mission uh, for three years. Most of my weekends were taken up cutting, splitting, stacking firewood. So I got an old tractor and it really was just an old bucket of bolts, but it did a lot of the heavy lifting and carrying for me. So it, was, it certainly worked hard. And I also took on a, a, another chainsaw operator who later on grew up to be my video editor. But we did have some major stacks of firewood all around the property, um, which was probably good for us socially because when you get a lot of firewood, you also gain a lot of friends. Um, anyway, last year I was in a position where I could buy this little digger. And one of the tasks I've been doing with that is dealing with all these stumps I got around the property. Because the trees blew over, a lot of the stumps were close to the surface, um, so they were quite easy to dig out. And the fact that they've had about 14 years just lying there means they, they had dried out a lot, and so they weren't too heavy. And this little digger was picking them up quite easily and meant I could take them away and get rid of them. Even even some of the ones that are quite big, it was picking them up quite easily. these stumps are quite dry and, and a bit lighter um, but now I've pretty well done all the easy ones and the ones I'm getting into now are, are just more in the ground they're harder to dig out heavier like this one I'm doing here this I had to dig for quite a long time before I could even get it to move in the hole but that's always a good a good feeling because as soon as it starts to move, you know you're going to beat it. But, but these ones are, um, because they've been in the ground more, they're a lot heavier. And just the shape of them means they're more awkward. So it means that I can't actually just pick them up with a thumb. But between using the bucket and the blade, I can get them off the ground and, and move them away to wherever I want them. which does mean working the digger probably close to its limit. Actually, probably the manufacturers will say I'm pushing the limits a bit. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know. But, um, and I am getting rid of these things. And this little digger is coping quite well with it. reasonably well anyway and my little rhino does like to pose with the trophies that it's conquered it likes to sit back and admire it so the way these trees blew down meant a lot of them were literally spring loaded and you cut the tops of the trunk off and they just stand up again so you just stick a couple of wires between them and call it a clothesline and then some stumps were too big for me to deal with so I just got the chainsaw out and made a seat out of it and there's always someone willing to come along and pose in it and you pay them a couple of dollars and they just sit there and look pretty um, but it's good to sit up here and just look down over what we've been doing with the place uh, and just remember that 
18 years ago this was just a bare paddock with a few gum trees growing in it so we're making a bit of progress. Since the storm we had five gum trees left and in recent years we've cut down four of those um, but we've got one of the originals left and this one is actually grown on the side of a slope so it's put down really big roots and so it's very it's anchored very well I don't think it'll ever blow over um, so we'll just keep it as a monument because it's, it really is um, it's a good asset to have on the place and you can see it is quite big and since since the storm, all these new ones have just self-seeded and sprung up uh, and there's, there's quite a few of them. Um, and some of them now I have almost getting to the stage where I've cut them for firewood. But I, a lot of them are growing close together so I'm already thinning them out, cutting a few out just to thin them out so the ones remaining will uh, grow bigger and stronger and more more wood um, but so basically we just start the whole cycle all over again and, uh, and it keeps us warm in the winter time <laughs>